Fossil fish belonging to the coelacanth class were once depicted as powerful evidence in favor of the myth of the transition from water to dry land. Based on the fossil remains of this animal, evolutionist biologists suggested that a primeval lung had developed inside the creature's body. This lie was described in a wide range of reference sources and illustrations showing the coelacanth in the process of emerging from sea onto dry land were even published. And all this was based on the assumption that the creature was extinct. However, a most interesting discovery was made in the Indian Ocean on 22nd December 1938. A living specimen of the species Letimeria, a member of the coelacanth family, depicted as an extinct intermediate form that had lived 70 million years ago, was caught in the open sea. The discovery of a living coelacanth came as a huge shock to evolutionists. The evolutionist paleontologist J. L. B. Smith announced that he could not have been more surprised if he had come across a dinosaur in the street. More than 200 coelacanths were to be caught in other regions in the years that followed. With the capture of these fish, it was realized that all the speculation regarding these animals was unrealistic. Contrary to what had been suggested, the coelacanth had neither a primeval lung nor a large brain. The structure that evolutionists imagined to be a primeval lung was nothing more than an oil sac in the fish's body. Moreover, the coelacanth depicted as a reptile to be preparing to move out of water and onto land was seen to be a bottom-dwelling fish living in the deepest parts of the ocean and almost never rising above 180 meters in depth. At this, the popularity of the coelacanth in evolutionist publications immediately disappeared. The evolutionist paleontologist Peter Foray made the statement in an article in Nature magazine. The discovery of the Latimeria coelacanth raises hopes of gathering direct information on the transition of fish to amphibians, for there was then a long-held belief that coelacanths were close to the ancestry of the tetrapods. But studies of the anatomy and physiology of the Latimeria have found this theory of relationship to be wanting and the living coelacanth's reputation as a missing link seems unjustified. Thus the most frequently used supposed intermediate form between fish and amphibians in the propaganda of evolution was utterly discredited. Mm -hmm.